Yeah, look, Simon, I think, you know, some parts of the world try and fight it, but I mean, India is, we know it's the, it's, it's the, it's the center of, of our game, you know, commercially, you know, the love for cricket there is just insane. Um, and, and the IPL, I mean, if you think about from 08 to where it is now, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, just think about the TV rights deal that just attracted uh, two new franchise numbers. I mean, it's in terms of franchise cricket, it's, it's just so far ahead of it, even anywhere else, you know. And I think for us to be able to attract, you know, six teams with 15 odd years experience in building franchise cricket, uh, you know, looking at just sort of scouting, uh, looking at academies um, and, you know, to, get, to attract that expertise, everyone will look at the commercial side and say, well, we're bringing in the big guns, but it's it's also the layers of cricket that, that they come with. You know, they know how to scout, they know how to build academies, they know what they want. Um, they know, you know, they've got big teams behind them that study T20 cricket. They know how they want to play. And, and you know, the, the people they're involved with, you know, from a player, from a coaching, from a medical, from a, you know, a, a fitness perspective, all that is now coming into our game, which is which is a huge asset that, you know, through, through the financial cuts and, you know, maybe not investing in the game, all, all those little layers just fall away in South African cricket. And you don't, you don't, you're not operating at that level of expertise where you, you're pumping out, yeah, we'll always produce talent, but are you really grooming someone, you know, or a team that can become excellent? And I think that it's all those layers underneath that have been a huge asset for us to win. And that'll take time to show, but I, I truly believe that in a couple of years' time, we'll, we'll reap the benefits of that.